Welcome back. In uh, lesson two of learning HTML, we are going to concentrate on creating this background image for login and sign up. Uh, through that, we're going to go into our CSS. We're going to learn a couple more things with margin, floating, um, and then IDs, and then having it actually show up. Uh, obviously, so without uh, going into too much more detail, let's go back over to our code. Uh, here I have my main.css where we stopped it before, uh, where I had our background color and our background image. And one of the first things I'm going to define is called an ID. Um, an ID is is the fastest selector when it comes to CSS. But the reason why is because is it's a unique selector. It's something that you define once and you're not supposed to use more than once. Um, in this case, I'm, I'm going to create what's called a wrapper. And then the way that's used is by doing the pound sign, and then I'm going to define it as wrapper, open and close bracket, cover, give a couple spaces. Uh, the reason why I use wrapper is because I, I think of it as, as, as it's surrounding the HTML document. So everything's be, this is going to be the parent tag no matter what, it's below obviously the body and HTML tags. Um, and then one of the first things I'm going to find is the width. And to do that, I'm going to go into my HTML, uh, sorry, YouTube uh, HTML class folder. And I'm going to look at my HTML class image. And within Mac, you'll have your dimension down here, dimensions down here. So this is 1,000 by 600. And again, I'm only interested in 1,000. Uh, so I'm going to do width 1,000 pixels. Go ahead, save. I am going to copy wrapper. Go back to my index.html document. I am going to add that to my page. And then uh, I thought this was really great points to point on a really good lesson you should learn from the beginning about uh, coding in HTML and almost any uh, language is called comments. Uh, comments are very useful for surrounding the wrapper tag to say when it begins and when it ends. Or a really, really good use for them is you have some really complicated, um, you have back broken up into different sections and you're not, obviously you're probably not going to remember to come back to it after some amount of time. Well, within comments, you can say what the blow thing is doing. So that way either yourself or someone else who comes to your code will be able to know what you were trying to accomplish or what you did accomplish. Um, to do the comments, it's open mouth and then exclamation mark, dash, dash. Um, and as you can see here, uh, my text editor made everything turn gray, that light gray, uh, and sorry, a shade of gray. Uh, basically, it's basically coding to me that, okay, everything below this is going to be ignored by the HTML document. Um, obviously, we don't want that, so I'm going to say this is my wrapper, and then I close by doing a couple more dashes. And then closing that, and then go to below it, and I'm going to defy this is the end of my wrapper by using a forward slash. As you can probably see, um, HTML syntax also does the same way. So I figured well, I might as well follow the same cadence when adding um, my comments. Uh, so I go ahead and say that, and then we want to go back to our main.css, and then, then we want to add the background image you add within the wrapper. So again, I'm using ID since this is going to be specific only to the background image. So I'm going to do login, sign up, background. And then uh, what this is right here is called camel case. Uh, camel case, so the first letter will be a lowercase and any word after that will be uppercase. Uh, it's just something I've seen develop, a lot of developers use. I have obviously put it within my tool set of how I define roles. And it's just to me, it's just easy to break up. Okay, so this is login, sign, uh, background. It's a lot easier to see rather than all lowercase, uppercase uh, lettering. Um, anyways, uh, getting back to it, since this is going to be the background, obviously I need to pull in the background image. I'm going to do the background again. URL. Go back one folder, go to images folder, forward slash, and then this is going to be the sign up login dot ping. So sign up 
thing, and then do a semicolon. And, and then before I continue further, um, despite what we did with the background image, any other background image, you have to define a width or a height, or else it will not work. It will automatically think it's a zero, zero. Basically, it won't display. Uh, so to do that, again, within the Finder, we go here, we'll go into sign up, uh, login, and then I can see it's 163 by 29. Um, and so I'll go over here, do this, one, six, nine, pixel, uh, part of 23 pixel, and then hit save, and then I'll grab this, copy it again, go from here, well, I'll first define my comments, so this is going to be sign, oops, sorry, log, Close it. And then I did the define my ID. Time to save. Alright, let's go to Google Chrome and cross fingers that things are looking good. Alright, awesome. It came in and I defined the wife to be too long. Uh -huh, look at that. And then how I could tell that this FYI, you can see right here it's continuing on. Uh, so that means I goofed and I made the width too long. So it's 163. Wow, I was off by six pixels. So let's redefine that. All right, there we go. So now it's looking the way it should. Sorry about that. Um, but as you can probably see, as you see now, it's it's not flush to the left, but it is over to the left. Um, this is something by default by um, HTML standards, if you will, uh, they have their own defined rules. So uh, within the body uh, syntax, um, it's going to automatically align to the left, but then it's going to add a little margin for the left over here and for the top. So that's why it's pushed over to the right and the bottom a little bit. Um, but before we fix that, I want to see about centering my wrapper. And to do that, I use what's called margin. And so what, what this means is the zero, this is referring to the top and then the bottom. And I, I don't need any value for those, so I'll define them as zero. And then auto is referring to left and right. This will say, okay, I want it to be, I want it to be centered uh, depending on how big it is. But basically this is going to center my wrapper div to be in the middle rather than over to the left. So we'll go ahead and hit save, go back, and it, Fresh, and as you can see, our background image has moved over now. Uh, as you can't tell, it's really the center because again, it's still left the line, uh, but it is doing what we want it to do. Um, in this case, I'm going to address another issue uh, again. As you see, there's still that body margin, and then there is actually a very easy way of fixing that. So we go back to our code, we go into the body tag, and we do margin zero. And then what this is going to do so for all margin for top, um, right bottom and left, this is going to define it as zero, so that way there will not be no more margin and it pushed up above instead of uh, and then here's the problem, I mixed up my variables now look at that Okay, so that's, uh, that's that's what we wanted to do. Add this to show, just because your uh, teaching class doesn't mean you're always an expert. Um, but anyways, uh, so now we see this over left, and then so we want this to be over the right, and what we're gonna do that way is what's called float. And we'll float, we'll do right. And then float has three different arguments. It has float left, float right, and float none. Um, in this case, you see with float right, it pushes it all the way over to the right. Float left again will push it to the left and float none would leave it to its default, which most of the time will be over the left anyways. Uh, so now we want to add our text, our login and sign up text, and then again to do that I'm gonna find another ID. So log in, sign up. I'll do with that. I'm gonna find it more, and then we do a font. Size and as you can probably figure this to find the font size, uh, but since I did actually 
uh, create the image through Photoshop. I'm going to see what that is by using Photoshop. Uh, and then I, I have it up in here where I select the login, open up my character um, window, and I can see it's 16 pixels. So that's what we'll define our text of 16 pixels. And then we're going to define what's called the font weights. So this is used for bold, but I actually use numbers. It's, it's known to be optimized as quicker. Uh, we're going to find a color. This it is actually font color, but don't try that rule because it's not going to work. Color is actually the rule to do the font color. And then we do whites. Again, I'm doing a shorthand here. Uh, six Fs would be whites, but I can do three. And I want to align my text to the center. So I'll do text align center. And there's also left and right. Um, I guess the easiest way to think about it is Word document. When you hit the little icon for left or right or center. This is basically the same thing, so we're throwing it through code. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save that. We'll go back to our, and then we'll grab it. Go back to our index.html. We'll go over from here, and we'll add that ID. Add a couple times. Do the comments. This is, and then, Nope. Nope. All right, great. So we got that. So now let's do login pipe sign up. Let's save. Go back over here. Hit refresh, and then boom. Uh, it appeared. Uh, but I see there's actually one thing I want to find is I want to find what's called the font family. Go back to minutes CSS, and then this is basically saying, okay, font family by default it's times, but I want it to be Arial, so it's a little more smooth looking. Oops, one little too far over. Fresh, awesome. So it looks exactly the way I wanted to, but as you see, there's a little problem. But now it's lines to the top. Uh, to fix this, we're going to use what's called the expect elements. Um, it's actually not fixing it, but it's allowing us to play with the code before we go to our um, CSS. This is very useful. I use this basically daily. If someone's not looking right, I will open up the expect uh, elements. Um, I know for Firefox, there's Firebug. Um, for, sorry, it's a, for Safari, it has its own thing. And then for Internet Explorer, it's developer tools. Um, but anyways, um, again, I'm going to define the margin. This time, more or less, just define top and try five pixel pick x, and that looks exactly what I want to. So now I am going to go back to my CSS. I'm going to do a margin top five pixel. Go back, refresh to make sure that it took it. It did. Awesome. And then I want to upcase my U. And then make sure again, make sure it looks good. All right, great, camera perfect. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get as far as I want to, but I think this is a great stopping point. Um, next time we will get, in, get into linking these. Again, it won't go anywhere, but it's to show you how to link something. And then something I want to show too is with the shorthand. Um, I said a couple times, but to make it a little more understandable, uh, let's take this margin top as an example. So. If I wanted to do it the shorthand way, I would do it this way for pixel zero zero zero. This these these this one and this one are equivalent right now. But basically what this means is it's the, the, the margin shorthand is top, right, bottom, left. Uh, you can define for each one of them, or you can define for one like this. Uh, just FYI, but thank you. I look forward to the next class. And please let me know if you have any questions, subscribe, rate, just let me know how I'm doing. Uh, I'd love to hear, hear from you guys. And have a good night, day, evening. And see you guys later. Bye.